from Marvel TV, sponsored by West Bear, and today I'm with the cast of Exposed. How are you today? Uh, yeah, we're good, we're good, really good. Yeah, all good. Enjoy the French? Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's been really brilliant, good. hasn't it? Yeah. I've seen some really good stuff. So, so about. tell us about Exposed. Um, it's based around human impulses and society's kind of restrictions on them. So anything from a guy who is drunk and puts a cone on his head and starts dancing around to something quite extreme where a policeman wants to be the person that he's arrested. So it kind of goes from both sides. You look at it in a physical way and also in a comical way and then also in quite deep, dark. We yeah. use like, lots of fragments within the piece, so we like to look at um, using media, so we use projections on stage. There's also um, always something for the audience to be watching, so we, we try to keep it engaging throughout. That's why it's quite a fragmented piece with the technology, the movement, the comedy, the serious parts. So it's like a real roller coaster to take the audience on. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun, energetic piece, but uh, like the guys said, there is some more darker moments in it that um, do have the audience actually really thinking about some of the impulses that are in everyday life. So, yeah. And a lot of the, the text within the show is from a real life account. So what we use is it's called verbatim text. So what we did before we created the performance was we all went out into the streets and interviewed people in certain jobs. So like I spoke to a nurse um, and then asked them if they've had an impulse and if they followed it. And then we write it down word for word and take on that character and then uh, portray that to the audience. So, um, for instance, the nurse uh, that I spoke to said that sometimes she really gets the urge to hit her patients, but obviously she'd never actually do that because she'd get sacked. So it's quite interesting to, to hear that from, from her, the restrictions that she faces within her job, which is a very respectable job. And surely if anybody heard that, they'd be like, well, surely you shouldn't be a nurse, but that's sort of a thought within her head. Yeah, yeah it was really interesting people to interesting stuff. Yeah, Where did the idea to make a show about like impulses come from? Uh, well, there's five of us in the company, and uh, we're really impulsive people. Um, you might find us in a supermarket singing because we want to sing, uh, and we're really impulsive people. So we decided to make a show about <laughs> our impulses, um, and then we did a lot more research about into um, the impulses that all different types of people have on a daily basis. Whether it's for a short second and they think about doing something and they restrict it and they don't do it or whether people actually do go through with it. Um, and we did a lot of research into different types of people and their impulses and it's a very inter interesting subject for us. So we yeah. just it started off just being like, we're kind of impulsive kind of idiots. And we yeah. just it started off being like, just like, oh, what can we do that's stupid on stage? And then we started finding out that there's some really kind of good stories and people have a lot to say on this kind of subject. And so it turned into something a lot deeper and more kind of yeah. research than we thought it was going to be. We yes. thought it was just going to be something like yeah. stupid and silly and now it's yeah. a lot more than that. The biggest one is when you're on a, when you go to get a train and you, the line's there and it's just that impulse to jump off but obviously you won't or, push or the somebody. impulse to push somebody that stood very close to the edge and quite a lot of people are like yeah I find that. And the show's quite interactive with your audience. Yeah we do there's a there's a couple of things so the first off there's like an auction where um, the audience can bid for whatever for uh, the contents of this mystery box and so they can bid whatever they have like it doesn't have to be money we, we'll, we prefer if it's not money we prefer them just to see what they've got kind of in their pockets or on them and so we've had what well, we've had googly eyes we had a guy had a pack of googly eyes he auctioned them yeah. um, some tin foil some boxes with some chili on yeah like, some like all, all sorts of stuff and then they win the contents of the box which i'm not going to tell you what that is but it's, it generally it can change someone's life uh, the contents of the box, that's really cool. Yeah. And then later on, yeah, we give the audience two minutes to do uh, whatever they want to the people on stage. So we put two people up on stage, the voiceover happens, and then you just kind of s feel this energy change in the room when the audience realise that they can actually get up and they can do whatever they want. And so people have done, again, a range of different things, starting from just like a hug, people get up and hugging them, right the way through to a uh, guy put squirty cream on uh, on a couple of them, put water on yeah. them. We pass. Lots of people tip their water yeah. over them. Yeah, we, we do find that uh, people like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, we do find like the audience like to get up and tie their shoelaces and do things that could stun us, which is really funny. But we do have some really nice impulses that people get up and follow. For instance, there was a 
there was a woman, like an elderly woman that got up the other day um, and she stood on stage and she looked at the two actors and said, um, you're talking about impulses, so I just want to tell my husband that I love him very much. Aww. And we were all, all like, that's amazing. Sort of she had an impulse to say that and she just did it. And her, her husband was in the audience so she sort of point, pointed him out and everybody, it was really nice. Oh, well, that's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's not, it's not always um, bad things happen. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not lot, always negative impulses. Nice yeah, 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 definitely. And people yeah. take the chance, even though we're saying, come do anything to us, people also just take the chance just to go on stage and do something that they want to do, like say yeah. something or like some girl just came on like straight away, she was on quick and just lied down for the whole two minutes she just laid there. Yeah. So like, <laughs> there's like a whole range of different stuff happens. Release your impulses, mm -hmm. do whatever you want to us or on stage. So it's really like a challenge for the audience as well to see if they follow it or, because some audience members are very shy and yeah. sort of reserved and they'll just sit there and think, oh, I don't want to go up, I don't want to go up. But that's like another way we're saying, well, that yeah. just shows another side to impulses. A lot of people do just restrict that, even though we're giving them permission to do it. It's quite interesting it's to see It's a nice that. little bit of like social commentary as well, so you can, what people are willing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So what's your future plans after the French? Um, well, we came here with the, the plan to do as well as we could, but also to talk to theatres, get theatres to come and see us, so that we can then get, get booked into the various venues and things like that, so that we can book a tour. So we've had, we've had quite a few started to do some contracts and stuff with some different venues so that we can book a tour and get some arts council funding to do that tour over the next year. And that's kind of our, our big plan for right. next year. Well, I think the show sounds amazing. I really want to go check it out. And um, you can catch Exposed at the Sea, of how do I say it? Sea Aquila. Aquila? Yeah, like tequila. Aquila. And it's at 5 past 12 every day up to the 26th. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Brilliant. This has been Waffle TV.